just arrived in Paris from Miami. Um, I have a connecting flight to Warsaw at 7 p.m. So I'm gonna try to do a quick tour of uh, Paris in the next four hours. It's 11 a.m. Paris is about an hour away. You can get there by train, by Uber. The Uber is about 60 euros. The taxi is about 80 euros. And the train is like 15, but it takes forever. Um, you just have to see the traffic and whatnot. But I'm gonna try to get there. I have a reservation at Le Escargot, which is a pretty well-known Escargot restaurant here in France that I love. Um, I'm gonna head there. I'm gonna go to the Louvre, to the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame. Uh, what else was it? Oh, the Arc of Triumph. So I'm gonna see if I can do all this in under five hours, four hours that I have. I'm pretty sure I can do it. So stay tuned, enjoy, and enjoy the journey. So if you're a little bit of an airhead like me, um, Uber is not the best option. It took me like 20 minutes to find the Uber, but the guy's super nice. But the dude literally told me he's hungry. So he has to make a pit stop, but whatever. Um, before being an actor and even while I was an actor, uh, while being an actor, I've Ubered before and I know that urge of going to the bathroom. So whatever, it is what it is. I'm not late. Um, so as I mentioned before, right now I'm going to Les Cago, which is about an hour away from the airport. I already have my boarding pass, my flight's at seven. So as long as I'm in the airport by 5.30, I should be set. So I should have enough time to show you guys the Eiffel Tower, the outside of the Louvre. Um, what else did I say? Notre Dame, the Champs-Élysées, all the, the avenue where all the expensive stores are, like Louis Vuitton, Cartier, uh, Rolex, Coco Chanel, and I'll be going to Le Fouquet. I'm probably pronouncing all this terrible. That's why it took me forever to find my Uber. Um, and funny story, I'm gonna put it here. My Uber started flirting with me. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but whatever. It's 2021, so this be nice to everyone. I'm gonna put the conversation here. He's a pretty funny person. And the dude tells me he's hungry, so he stops in a gas station. But let's, I hope you guys like escargots. Escargots are snails, for those of you that haven't tried snails. So hopefully this guy doesn't take his <laughs> time and we can make it. <sighs> Today is my birthday. Oh, joyeux anniversaire in French. Happy birthday, boy. Uh, merci beaucoup. Happy birthday. Merci, merci beaucoup. It's nice, boy. really quick and then we're gonna head over it's an 11 minute walk to the Louvre super close it's worth seeing I won't be able to go inside because I just don't have enough time or I'll see maybe we can see the Mona Lisa but this restaurant has been here since like 18 I don't know what let's see how there is car escargots are I might get run over let's check it out
accounted for and everyone was staring at me. So good. It's like a garlicky. I don't even know how to describe it, but. do six because then I get crossed out but it's delicious so a medium rare steak in Paris is definitely not the same as a medium rare steak in Miami this is like pink but it's really good now something very interesting about Paris that you don't really see anywhere else in restaurants you're literally sitting side by side like sardines so if you're trying to have an intimate conversation it's not the best place but this is fantastic guys but look at how pink medium rare is here Alright, so the food was great, the restaurant was great. The reason I couldn't really speak so loud is because here in Paris, tables are literally back to back to back to back. No matter what restaurant you are in, no matter if it's fancy or just casual, you're literally back to back to back. Sometimes they even have to pull back a table in order for you to be able to sit and they move it back. Um, but I love this street. It's full of little like terraces, all with French food. And this restaurant I just went to has been here for a boatload of time and I ate for 17 euros. I ate the six escargots and I ate an entrecot. I'm gonna get run over um, with veggies. It was delicious. I ate the whole entire bar of bread, which I shouldn't. And then of course the wine. I love wine from Bordeaux. It was 13 euros, which is pretty pricey. But the food itself was super cheap um i'm on my way i don't know where i am to be honest i'm walking towards the louvre <laughs> let me see I'm where the mona lisa is i fix this crazy hair dude and i think it's that way i don't know what that is i think it's some sort of palace but the streets of paris are just incredibly beautiful like wow Four hours is definitely not enough to see all of Paris. Obviously, I don't think it's enough to see any city, but I'm gonna try to show you guys the key spots to go to. So when you come on your trips, you obviously come and you explore it a lot longer. It's starting to rain. My luck, bro. So I don't know what it is about this particular trip, but everyone's been so nice to me um, on the airplane, in the restaurants, 
the people on the street. They've been super, super nice. Um, so the Louvre, now that I get there, since my time is very limited, some cool information about the Louvre. If it were for sale, which of course it would never be for sale, it would be worth $45 billion, obviously including the artwork. Without the artwork, it would include, it would cost about $10 billion. Um, there's over 35,000 paintings in there and about 200,000 different pieces and objects from different artists. The Mona Lisa is worth over $480 million, <sighs> but that's a priceless piece. They'll never sell that, but it's not the most expensive piece. The most expensive piece is um, some piece by Da Vinci. It's like $830 million. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go in to see it. Or maybe, I think I'm still good with time. I should be walking up to it very soon. My favorite part about making these videos is that everyone just stares at me and laughs. Like if I'm a weirdo, but whatever. We're almost there. I I think I found it. I'm almost 100% sure. Let me cross over here. It's that big building right there. Um, another cool fact I read about it is that it's like 63,000 square feet. I don't want to bore you guys with facts, but I'm trying to make this channel a little informational. Wow, it's beautiful. I'm gonna go to the pyramid and I'm gonna see how much tickets are. But they shouldn't be too bad. They're like 30, 20, 30 euros. Um, let me try to get into this. So, I was wrong. This isn't where the pyramid is. But one thing I love about France or Europe in general is that no matter what corner you turn, what alley you go into, you're always gonna find something like this. I don't know anywhere in the world other than Egypt where you can find such, oh, oh I found it. I don't know if you see it there in the back. But I don't know, Paris just has this magic to it that it's incredible. I just asked for the prices of the Louvre. They vary obviously depending on your age. Students get a discount. I believe they only have to pay 25 euros and adults pay 45 euros. Um, let's keep exploring. There's some big Ferris wheel. It looks like the, oh, oh, this is interrupted by, do you see it? Where is it? There, there it is, no, no. Where is it? Oh, the Eiffel Tower. It's beautiful. Let's make our way there. So Paris is definitely a city where you want to do a lot of walking because it's beautiful anywhere you look. I'm taking a taxi just because of time purposes. I have to be in the airport at 5 p.m. But from the Louvre to Notre Dame, it's about a 25, 30 minute walk, depending on how much, how fast you walk. From Notre Dame to the Eiffel Tower, it's another 30, 40 minutes, but you walk along the, the Cyan River and it's, it's beautiful. Everything, everything's beautiful. It's definitely worth the walk. And taxis are relatively cheap. Um, we're headed there now. I'll put some footage of, scene, of the scenery on the way there.
So it actually seems to be closed because a couple of years ago it was burnt down. I think last year actually. So unfortunately, this is as much as you can see. I'm gonna try to go through the front side and see if it's possible to go in through there, but I doubt it. So sad because it's beautiful on the inside. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully when you guys come, it's open. And when you do, make sure you walk because taxis, I take that back, aren't so cheap. Um, cost me eight euros. It was an eight minute drive. It's pretty expensive. So I'd say the best way to move around Paris, the city center is definitely walking. I didn't want to say it in the taxi, but they also have Ubers. I just don't have enough time to wait for it. And obviously the Metro is super cheap, especially if you're a student, you get a student discount. Or if you're over 65, you also get a discount. Or if you're a child under a certain age, you also get a discount. So I'm gonna get a taxi and head over to the Eiffel Tower. I have a feeling it's gonna get, I'm gonna get poured on. And I have a spray tan, this isn't my color. I have a spray tan and this is gonna wash away for sure. Oh look, taxi. Pardon is Le Trois Eiffel Proche à Arc de Triomphe. Proche? Close? The close to Arc de Triomphe? Oui. Uh, yeah, it's not, not far. Walking? Uh, yeah. You have to cross the bridge, then go up Jena, okay. Avenue Jena, straight. Okay, like this minute? Uh, bon. 15 minutes, I think. Okay, merci. to the top like I said a million times I don't have time because of my flight but it's definitely worth it I'll try to attach some pictures to the video of my last trip to Paris where I did go all the way up and there's actually I think like two or three restaurants and a champagne bar at the top of the of the Eiffel Tower. The restaurants are in the middle, and I know that at the top there's that champagne bar, which is super cool. But this is just a super nice place. A lot of pretty people. You can just feel the love. Wow, look at that. I know it has a front side. I'm gonna try to take a little selfie in the front side. This place is incredible. And 
And of course, I wouldn't be France or Paris properly if I didn't have a Nutella crepe next to the Eiffel Tower. I mean, those hot as balls outside, and I'm sweating. And all I've done is eat like a pig. And it's really hot, but. Oh, so good. So good. You got dope fire heat. Mm. I'm gonna need a treadmill really fast. All right, I need to head over to the Arc de Triomphe because I'm very tight with time, but we're almost at the end of this video. What you can expect in other videos, obviously a much more detailed tour, more restaurants, more food, nightlife, uh, more things to do in general, but I've only had three hours in Paris. It's been two. I have like a little walk to the Arc de Triomphe and then I'm headed back to the airport. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the button below and subscribe and follow my Instagram, Gonzalo Sulueta and Fly and Dine. I left the handles right there for you. Next city tour would be Warsaw, Krakow. And of course, as I mentioned before, um, I'll be doing a tour of Auschwitz the concentration camp um all right let me stop talking and let me head over there to make sure i make it on time so good hmm. i devoured that crap in like two minutes you can still see the eiffel tower back there oh i have a stomach ache Snails, beef, zucchini, coffee, wine, now Nutella and a crepe. Wow, not the best combination. Uh, na, 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 taxi. Anywhere you look here, bro, it's freaking amazing. A little bit about me. I don't know if you know where I'm from. I was born and raised in Miami. My parents are from Spain, so I consider myself from Spain as well. Um, so a lot of the slang you'll see is very Miami and Hispanic. Uh, taxi, taxi, taxi. I need a bathroom really bad. Paris is beautiful. Nice days for your birthday. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I feel accomplished. I just went to some of Paris's hot spots in less than three hours, or give or take three hours. I ate snails, entrecot, crepes, went to the Eiffel Tower, went to Notre Dame, even though I couldn't go in the Louvre, and now the Arc of Triumph. This avenue here is where most of the. I love how everyone just looks at me. Hi! <laughs> I just stares at me. Um, this, so Champs Elysees, I forgot the Greek translation of it, but it means something fields, and it's talking about Greek mythology. It's where it was a resting place for the Greek gods. Um, so that's why they named this Champs Elysees. And through a lot of victories and French wars and stuff, the leaders and city paraded through there. And on this street, you can find some of, the, some of the most expensive stores like Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Coco Chanel, Christian Dior, Sabrowski. I'm just mentioning stores I see around me. Mont Blanc, Cartier. And there's this pretty famous cafeteria that's been here since 1867, I think. 
1892, I'm not sure. I'll put it in the description. Uh, it's called Foket. Not Foket. Foket. Um, I'm gonna go have an espresso there and end my tour because I gotta go catch my flight. Foket is not a place to go on a budget, by the way. Uh, the espresso is like 20 euros, but it's worth it. It's the experience here in Paris once. So thanks for tuning in. Um, be sure to subscribe so you check out the other city tours. Warsaw and Krakow are gonna be incredible. It's gonna be full of culture, food, um, nightclubs, sightseeing, and of course, Auschwitz. So go ahead and subscribe. I'll show you guys full kits as soon as I get there. But thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought, if you've come to Paris, if you think I missed something, I obviously missed a lot of things to show, but um, I think I did a pretty good job in just three hours. I need to stop talking. I'm never gonna get there. <laughs>